it's very hard to actually define natural and false and there's a very thin line uh, between natural voice and false voice we often hear that uh, in khayal we are not supposed to use the false voice in the higher octave we have to give an open throw an open voice and but what is the open voice uh, if we want to sing like i'm singing in a but this is a voice which i have used a compression it's not completely open the way i was singing re ga i have compressed if you say this is false voice then it is false but usually people do compress ah 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 so re ga ma pa or ga ma pa i was using a compressed voice it was not open so but uh, concept wise if it's uh, defined as false voice then it's false and there's no harm in using the, this kind of false voice in classical vocal because if i open up too much in the higher octave i try to put a thrust and bring out the gandhar or madhyam then i will put unnecessary pressure on my voice which is not necessary and my texture of the voice of my voice could be damaged so better to compress it now there's another definition of false voice which i could say that is so two kinds are bringing out in the same note feeling the vibration inside and here outside i mean the upper part and inside also i can feel the vibration ah then if i sing ah ah only superficially i'm feeling the vibration inside i'm not feeling any vibration ah ah and it sounds like it's coming out from here so there's a thin line between these two voice productions so the second one i would say is a false voice for me like ah 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 and if i sing it in in my natural voice it would sound like sounds much fuller it has some frequencies more maybe i'm not sure of course i won't go into the detail of frequencies but it sounds much fuller ah 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 natural voice ah 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 So then sa also I'm feeling the vibration 
uh, superficial from here, some, somewhere from this side inside, inside the palate region only. But uh, with the natural voice, I can feel the vibration from two places, like it's from deep inside. Ah, 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 ah. Here, the whole region I can feel inside also. It feels also inside like it's deep. The vibration is coming from deep somewhere inside. Ah, 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 ah. I can feel the superficial vibration from the surface kind of vibration I can feel in the false voice. So to me, uh, the definition of natural and false voice would be this. But of course, I'm not sure uh, what. Of course, in the Western concept, the falsetto is in the usually in the higher octave. They call it falsetto. Somewhat like this, it sounds to me like this. In opera singing, you can hear a lot of falsetto. But since I have not learned the Western technique, I won't go into details of this. But they have this falsetto concept. In Indian music, I think, in, especially in classical vocal music, false. If you sing in this voice, usually people don't sing in the false voice in the middle octave or the, in the uh, lower octave or middle octave. Usually in playback singing, it happens like. Da, 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 na, da, da. So some people sing in this kind of voice. So to me that is false but uh, in movies and playback singing this is encouraged. But in classical vocal khayal singing usually this is not encouraged and no one sings actually. So in the higher octave we could use the false but I call it as a compression not the false exactly. Ah, 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 ah. This is a compression, but this is different from ah, 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 ah. here. It's a it's my natural voice, but I purposely compressed it so that I don't put a lot of pressure on my voice. So this is a judicial kind of decision and uh, voice throw we could practice, but this is not exactly false which we could say this is our natural voice only but the vibration positions change to some extent and the texture is also slightly different and our challenge is to when we are shifting from the natural thing to the higher octave when we are compressing it shouldn't sound uh, completely different like ah, ah, ah. it shouldn't sound like this ah, ah. not this ah, came back to sa i was using the compressed sa not the natural one since i knew i had to transit so this transition of voice from natural to the compression in the higher octave and then coming back to the natural on which note we should use the transition and uh, we should be cautious that the texture of voice doesn't vary much when we are going from the middle octave to the higher octave so we have to be very careful and the practice should be such so that we are careful about uh, this voice through. Ah, ah. from a perfect or right kind of training and practice that how we will transit from the uh, middle octave sa to re and when we are actually compressing our voice in the higher octave 
so how that compression will be done and on which sword you will have to use that this is also by experience and by uh, you know, correct kind of practice you could achieve that so I hope uh, this kind of voice throw uh, some kind of knowledge about voice throw natural and false voice might help you